All right, friends, happy Friday. It's time for today's morning meeting. So for morning meeting today, we'll start the same way we do every day with our calendar. Happy Friday. Yay! It's June 2020. Let's make a calendar. Are you ready to say the days of the week with me? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What day of the week is it today? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Great job! Today is Friday, June 5th, 2020. Fill in the missing day and date. What day is missing? It's today. Let's start at the beginning to find out. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. What comes next? Friday. Okay, let's start counting at two, two, three, four, and what comes next? Five. Yes. Great job. Okay, today is Friday, yesterday was Thursday, and tomorrow will be Saturday. We have Anthony's birthday on the 13th. And we have Brandon's birthday on the 20th in our class, the first day of summer. Okay, let's choose something bright and cheery. I know it's supposed to rain later. I'll save my calendar. So right near at my ha right now at my house, it is cloudy, but later it's supposed to rain. Our question today is, what is your favorite zoo animal? I think mine my favorite zoo animal changes sometimes, but right now I would say polar bears. I feel bad for them when they're in the zoo, but they're very cute, especially when they're little. So I'm going to say good morning to you and then ask you what your favorite zoo animal is. When I say good morning to you, I want you to say good morning, Miss Megan, back to me. Ready? Good morning. What is your favorite zoo animal? Which one do you like the best? All right, now I'm going to have you say good morning to someone nearby you. Ready? Say good morning to someone nearby. Now I'll help you ask the question. What is your favorite zoo animal? Ready? What is your favorite zoo animal? Maybe they like the same animal as you, or maybe they like something different. That's okay. So I feel excited for the weekend. How do you feel today? Can you tell me in a sentence? You can say, I feel excited, or happy, or angry, bored, confused, calm, frustrated, silly, nervous, or sad. How do you feel today? Okay, we're going to start our daily journal, and the code you need is D-U-L-X-J, D-U-L-X-J. You're going to take that code and enter it into Nearpod in order to do your work for today. D-U-L-X-J. We are going to start the same way we always do, by typing in our name. That way I get to see all of your hard work that you do at home. Makes me so happy to see. Now our first question is always going to be typing in our name for our journal. So we practice writing our first name and our last name. So I have a capital for both, and I hope you do too. And there's a space in the middle. When you're done, hit submit. Okay, now these are all the towns my friends in my class live in. 
What town do you live in? Great River, East Islip, Patchogue, Medford, Bellport, Miller Place, Sayville, Bellport, or Central Islip. Sorry, Alex, I put Bellport twice. Okay, so when you're done, hit submit. I can't answer because I don't live in any of those towns. What day of the week is it today? It's Robbie's favorite day, that I know. All right, so we need to find our purple star and go all the way up. Friday. Tells us it's Friday. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, there it is, Friday. The day today is June what? First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Today's the fifth. Also, you can tell by looking where the purple star is and seeing what number's in the same box. Fifth. The fifth. All I have to do is put a number five for the fifth and then hit submit. Did you eat a healthy breakfast today? Yes, I ate a healthy breakfast today. Did you? Yes, I ate a healthy breakfast. Or no, I did not eat a healthy breakfast. All right. What are you happy about? I'm happy that the weekend is almost here. I'm happy about the weekend coming. What are you happy about? All right, so I'm not sure if you've ever heard of dog agility before, but there's these obstacle courses that dogs do to show how agile they are, how smart they are with their tricks. And here's a man that taught his chicken, he's holding treats in his hand though, but he taught his chicken to do agility. So funny. Not the most clear, but very funny. Check out this chicken. going to go around the poles, in and out, in and out. They jump over it. There he goes. Now he has to get him to go through this. chicken. All right. How come nothing else is popping up? There we go. All right. What do we see in the video? What animal was it? A chicken. And there's a man, even though we don't see his face. And what is he having the chicken do? He's having the chicken do tricks, okay? What is the man holding in his hands? He has food to keep that chicken interested. So the chicken goes around the poles. He goes through a tunnel. He goes through a hoop and over a bar, okay? So let's write about what we see in the picture from the video. I see a man teaching a chicken tricks. I see a man teaching a chicken tricks. What do you see? 
You could write about the colors of what you see, what the man is wearing, anything like that, that they seem to be in a backyard. So if you need to borrow my sentence, that's okay. I see a man teaching a chicken tricks. I started with a capital and I ended with a period. My friend Alex, I would like you to write three sentences. I know you can do it. When you're done writing your sentence, you can hit submit and you're all done with today's morning meeting. I hope you have a great weekend.